All right guys, Papa Pepper here, and you know we like to put everything to use. Soon we'll be putting the rain to use. Uh, down here on the homestead, so sometimes you get these cucumbers where they're not big enough that you're growing them to save for seed, but they're not really where you want them to be for eating anymore. And uh, even monster truck, come here once. Open that bucket and show me. And then we also have, you know, things like our scraps, which normally used to go to our pigs, but we kind of got rid of our pigs, moved away from eating those, and uh, it's amazing how much work the chicken and poultry can do. You can go feed those the bucket on the rocks from there. But here on the homestead, what we'd like to do is find a use for that stuff so all the food that we no longer want to eat, the, the uh, poultry is more than glad to. And uh, here by the guinea fowl, Pete, open this up quick for me, children. For instance, you can see there's a bunch of half cucumbers in there. And uh, you know, one thing we can do is compost these. Well, we can let them eat the middle and then we'll compost the outside too. So uh, then it's a dual purpose. We're both building our soil and feeding our animals with it. Oh, do you like that little guy? Buddy Pepper, you like that? Which? That one too. Nice and gentle. So, kids, I'm gonna slice this in half. And let's get this in there. And then I'll give some to the uh, chickens and ducks too. And It's funny to watch the ducks sit there and eat these. Pull that in half if you can. Okay. All right, so red pepper's got one now. And we're gonna put in there, good side up, and see what these little guineas do. And then we'll collect the empty ones later when they've got them all scooped out. And uh, just lock it up and uh, collect the eggs. Let monster truck feed them the other stuff. So that's the one special one. He's a different color from the rest of the guy in front. The other one's checking out the empty boat. Children, take those in there so they'll come out. So here they come, now that we're gone. And look at them go. So they'll peck out all the good soft stuff. They all enjoy that and eat that. And Like I said, it's not exactly where we would want it to be for food, but from these young Keats and our chicks on up through the ducks, the chickens. Oh, I bet you the quail would like them too. I'll have to test that today. So the kids think that one outside is the dad because it's always hanging out by this one and the babies, but I'm not sure they exactly kept, uh, you know, just made it for life type thing, I don't know. I mean, you got that guy in, he's a different color. So, we'll see. But look at them, they love it. So, like I said, it's a way to take what would normally just be waste and put it to use, and like I said, we can still use the empty ones there to build the, uh, build the compost. So, pretty cool. Let's check out how the other guys like it. So, same thing here with our little chicks. Mama's pecking with them. And uh, here's the ones they had last time. They just cleared them out. So let them eat all the good soft stuff in the middle. And actually, when they're really hungry, they'll pretty much eat the whole thing. But uh, they're just taking the soft and easy stuff right now. So Cayenne, the nice red one. Dave the chick. And then... Then the other one. So we're just uh, swapping out their food and water now, cleaning them up, getting them ready to go, and letting them take, you know, nobody really wants to eat that around here or most places, but these guys are more than happy to. Man, Dave the chick is getting big. Let's check if those quail like them. Well, the quail are just pecking it up too. They like it when we give them all sorts of grass and other things too, so. And like I said, whatever they don't eat, head to the compost bin with the other stuff and head back to the garden soil and make more for later. What do you think, child? Another one? I'm getting another one. Cool. Always these big ducks are fun to watch when they nibble these up too. Oh, there goes. Chickens are on it. And the ducks. So especially, like I said, when I'm trying to 
keep track of three gardens right now. You can miss things in your own garden. And when you got extra ones, it's even easier. But try not to waste anything, and it's not that that's the goal, it's just that it makes sense. Um, if I'm able to sit there and feed these chickens and ducks and guinea fowl, you know, garden scraps, and our waste food that we would normally not really use, uh, or people, you know, normally give to pigs or something like that, these guys can eat that. That's less food I've got to actually give or buy for these animals, too. So it's more cost effective. And uh, we like it. We think it makes sense from the whole. So, I don't know. You don't ever get stuff like this and you've got animals that can use it. Give it a try. You may want to do a quick, you know, bit of research to make sure it's something that your animals can eat without getting sick. Um, some animals don't do well with certain types of plants or certain types of food, but. These ones do great with it. Those ducks really want to get started again, so I'll give them this last one, and that's about that, guys. That's one way to use, you know, overripe cucumbers. And if, if you do not save your own seeds, let a couple grow really big until the stem dies, and then open them up and uh, save those seeds, because then you can grow your own without having to buy them. So think about that, too. All right, pop out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper. And I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steemit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.